Okay, Fambulem. I bring um, great from the media empire then and now on this 26th day of um, September 2021. Me will talk to Una this evening, this afternoon, this morning, depending on which part of the world you watch this program. I mean, in Prince Emil Koma. In the then and now empire today, we get a very, very special guest. This guest is special in many respects, and not new to this platform, in fact, a regular contributor to this platform. I go introduce him shortly after I ask Una for let we do myself um, the favor of inviting other people for be part of this national conversation. This conversation is important. It's, um, um, it's um, um, a threshold now with a set. It's history in the making. And we want to let everybody be a part and parcel of this program. When they say you necessarily need for support, you can get dissenting views. In fact, this is what we are looking for. People that will get opposing views, ones that are diametrically opposed to the editorial, okay? So that we can have that conversation. But in the then and now today, we get none other but the deputy leader of the Alliance Democratic Party, the ADP, none other but Mr. Umfaji Kaba. Mr. Umfaji Kaba is an activist in many respects, both politically, socially, and you name the rest. For a period of time now, quite a significant period of time now, Mr. Umfaji Kaba has been a face of um, activism, a case of um, a face for justice, a face for freedom, and a voice for many of those that are distraught in our society. Mr. Kaba, now the deputy leader for the Alliance Democratic Party, like I say earlier, and for over a year now, most of us will have become very familiar with this particular face and voice for one particular reason. I know they say in other chunk and other reasons. Of course, prior to one year, it don't they do other things then. But for one year, it don't they be the voice and face for champion the cause for social justice. We therefore remember that um, the issue we want to talk about here tonight is relating to one of the most charismatic leaders in terms of opposition for image that the Sierra Leonean political scene. I am not saying that we not ever get political leader that we're not charismatic, but one of the most charismatic leader for image during this period is none other but Mr. Mohamed Kamarimba Mansari. Mr. Mohamed Kamar Kamarimba Mansari it fit the bill in many respects of a politician. It get the voice, it get the audacity, it get the temerity, it get the presence, it get the, it get the everything where you can talk about where a political leader, be it opposition or in leadership, supports forget. But sometimes the world over, then same quality than the way you get, then same attributes than the way you get, now they can lead you into trouble because then you become the man, not the spotlight, the man with a champion, social advocacy, social justice, and et cetera. And therefore you become a target. And I'm not implying that this is why Mr. Kamarimba or Mr. Kamarimba is being targeted because of the things that I've just said. I'm just saying that this is natural. If you get them presence, then they, you are oozing with charisma. You are a natural speaker. You they speak on the causes of social justice. It's obvious that if you're on the other side, you become the target of the other side. The, these are just facts. Today, the problem we want to talk about is one way we don't really talk about for the last um, 14 months. I mean, the general conversation of which we are very much a part and parcel of, and we're so significant within the atom, as they talk about the then and now media empire, of this particular conversation. In July um, last year, the particular man we we'll just mentioned when I the leader for the Alliance Democratic Party, I just want to provide some background of this particular case we we'll can talk about. He became an accused, allegedly by a 16 or 15 year old girl. And we need to understand this, that we they talk about um, tampering with a minor, penetration of a minor, which is a crime in Sierra Leone. And this particular leader, Mr. Mohamed Kamarimba Mansari, was accused 
along with um, Madame Aruni, okay, that are the second accused in this case of a minor. And that case, they don't they go on for quite a while now, 14 months, I would say. And Mr. Kamarimba Mansare is still incarcerated because of this particular issue. So despite charges, there has never been a verdict for 14 months. And many people across the country don't take up interest in this case, including civil society, the press, political organizations, both for and against, they are all into this matter. Today, we get in deputy, Mr. Umfaji Kaba, for can help me on this case. As Usa, it begin, Usa, we did now, and waiting on the way forward. Mr. Kaba, forgive me for that lengthy um, um, introduction, but I think it's been quite necessary. But once again, welcome to the Den and Now Media Empire, sir. Thank you very much, Prince. Um, actually, uh, it's necessary for what you don't do, so for like, able to forgive, remind people and, and forgive. So we don't we don't lost your audio. I don't know why. And then yeah, you bad, you I, at okay, you're back. You're back. You know, yeah, it's it's rather unfortunate. Say, um, the situation as it is, we really need for bring account to the attention of not only we reunions, but the entire world, because this this particular case with the onso. It is giving a lot of messages we get for do with human rights. And um, after we, we don't go through all these 14 months, I think say, it is time for let we begin for question how we democracy the work now with country and to which direction we it go right now. Because Prince, like you like, rightfully put up, now 14 months this where you make allegation for somebody, but up to this day, you know, it will prove the person guilty or innocent, but you choose for just keep and day and the punish them, especially where it gets for do with the health. I know say all the listeners and viewers, then they follow the, 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 the what thing that happened, especially with Mohamed Kamarimba in case. You know, I remember where, Rumors may come out, say, um, Kamarimba don't die. I can tell you, my brother, my phone went off the hook from all over the world. One, because of the young program where they, where they actually pioneer this uh, issue where we get at hand and how people then show not only patriotism, but the human side of us as a people, as a nation, you know, for say, then they are not right. So as it is, Prince, it is actually pathetic the way how we country today now and the direction we it will lead. But I want to thank you and the entire Empire staff for a very good job. And we're very much grateful for the interest and concern that they actually show. Because when I don't play such an important vital role on this incident, not merely because of Mohamed Kamarimba, but the central issue here is about the human rights, our democratic process and the direction where we all anticipate say today, we country for enjoy peace. Today, we country for the advance, for the develop, for the, for the, for the, for the, for the, for the meet up to international best practices, but, like I say, my brother, I don't get much to say at this particular uh, stage as the questions that they come and the viewers then want to participate, then I will respond. But I thank you now very, very much for giving me this opportunity again for let we actually update globally, universally, for update every sector of the global society as to where we don't reach to democracy and what you know with values and how will they look at the human rights aspect of individuals and citizens. Because this can happen to me today, like when Mohammed Kamarimba did. But if we don't try for work, 
as a team. But let we try to check some of these abuses and these excesses. It will definitely continue. And that check we know today, it could fall on anybody. That now we fear. So yeah. now I make some of we, they actually volunteer. They actually go out there as activists. This is not a, you know, this is not the only issue we actually, um, we actually they take all the time. No. In fact, you know, say me are one of the founders of the Consortium for Progressive Political Parties. So there are a lot of challenges all they face. And we know say any time from now, they can pick up any of us. But people then get for come together, we go stand up for say, you know, this is not just about politics. Because especially somebody who don't travel, we well educated, we don't we don't live, you don't travel a lot to, to other countries that you know what in how even in Africa, African countries there, how then they try for change and despotic way of ruling to come to a civilized democratic uh, uh, way of governing your people. But we have in a lot of challenges, and I must commend uh, uh, um, um, then and now empire for the meaningful contribution within the make. And I hope say we all as Walloonians will appreciate this forum. Thank you Thank very, you. very much, um, um, Mr. Umfaji Kaba. And we equally want to use or direct or transpose the same sentiment to you and um, the ADP, um, the family of Mr. Mohammed Kamaremba Mansare, all those who are championing the cause for social justice in the country. I mean, we did at um, um, a crossroad now with society, we know that, and we can go into that deeply. Unfortunately, we there for talk about a particular issue today, but we want to tell you and your team, thank you for championing this cause. Um, Mr. Kaba, it's obvious that to we na social media from waiting with the read, we're coming towards the end of the case of Mr. Kamarimba Mansari, and we say this somehow in a sort of, um, we don't do this normally, but in a prophetic fashion and from calculations, because every beginning has got an end. It's philosophical. Every beginning has got an end. Everything will go up, therefore can down. If 14 months the case don't they go on, there's been trial but no verdict, at some point the case has to end. And we see that we they move towards that trajectory day. But I want to let we provide a brief background as to this case because I want to fast track them to USA we did today and how we they go forward as per the introduction. So, like I say, from last year, July, your leader of the ADP became effectively an accused way land them in prison and in trouble. But there have been many complications and contradictions to this case. So I want to let we talk a little bit of politics because even though we're going to be talking about fact-based things them on the platform here tonight, somehow we're going to go into conjecture, speculation a little bit, circumstances, and before we come to evidence as per the court ruling, the lawyer them, and et cetera. So let me look at the case going back a little bit over a year ago in which the leader became an accused and person and the contradictions. And let me look at the timeline and the scene outside this happened. I think where, where the street name not come or some street name. What really happened and what come out of that case day in terms of the contradictions? Bring me up to speed, please, if you can. There's a reason why I ask you this. And as we go through and arrive where we are, we go see why this question was kind of significant from the very beginning. Yeah, um, Prince, you know, one thing, after the 2018 general elections, we get a meeting. And in this meeting, we decide for there, we, uh, we get what we call the NAI, that the National Advisory Executive Council of the party. We sit down, we spend a couple of months, we try to figure out what to make, we can fit out of 17 political parties, which as a young party, we're proud of that. Then we look and say, what are the strategies that we're going to put in place for there? We go able for actually uh, mobilize more membership, membership drive, and all of that. So we laid out certain strategies the way I know will come out. Uh, I'm staying there because you know politics, you get other political <laughs> parties, let them know that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what we do? Yes. So we start for go out. And Mohammed, if you take them back. When you know Mohammed coming back with colleagues and family and everything, now the kind of person we get bigot, they couldn't say bigot, he get hard for help people. 
He get heart for spain for other people. And he get passion for education. I know so you are aware of the fact that you don't build primary schools where you get some, some villages there, about 12, 13 of them where they not get no primary school around that Lusar area. If I'm going to build a good one up to this day because of politics, they're not approved of the school. Now, I mean, they pay the teachers them, you know, where they, where they not the place from what we they get. So we decide for that we actually attract youth them. Ages, one of the things we do is ages 14. So we take and say 13 to 14, by the time we reach to 2023, some of them are going to reach 18, we then go qualify for letting them vote. So in that respect, Mohammed get the drive for the keep picking their school fees, they help pay them fees, and they help them with other school materials and everything. So with this particular thing, Mohammed they on a project. It is on project where it is build hotel, Nakono, it is build house where it will be na, na accommodation and at the same time as an office, the party office, the same thing at McKinney. So you get that plan the way it will go all over for say, instead of leasing, let it build. So this particular situation will happen so way then old Mohammed for. Now in daddy in your place, Nakono. We na in in every time we it is fixed. So this this picking when they be referred to this on the age picking when they refer to it. They would okay. want Lebanese man and wife one day. This picking they go left in company, but it they carry in company go, but in order pay uniform. So long cut long story short, he got for intervene and interview this woman and tell him now he go he start for help this girl. So eventually, but this girl here, not to that kind of picking the way they take control. So in Antigua and get fed up, say, before I get problem, now I return this picking back to him people. So he go back to him people. When, but in Antigua, he thinks them all because he's not sure, say, he go go now house. So let them come for him. So when he go there, they ask and say, what's happening? Well, within that period, Mohammed come remember, buy telephone for that picking day, and that woman, the way they meant, he buy telephone for them. So we buy for the night, ask for that, this girl here. Now I say, well, you know, go able for give that one day, you know, give this one. So he give them all telephone. So when he reached to home, he complained to his auntie, say, this woman, Marion, when are the second accused by this case, hold in close them and in telephone and everything. Now he, he auntie grab, he go complain to the police with the expectation, say, with the hope, say, they go go to Marion for go take this became anything. While then they ex 